I'm Brian and welcome back to Duck River Homestead. Today we have just received our Woodland Mills WC68 wood chipper. It's for the 20 to 50 horsepower range tractors and that is exactly where my Massey Ferguson 1835E series comes in. Technically it's uh, between 28 and 30 horsepower at the PTO and that is what's required for this wood chipper. It does the job and uh, it's great. So let's get started setting it up. I've been putting off this moment for a while. I was trying to figure out what's a good way to take care of my brush piles. We have about four of them right now and they keep on growing and growing and growing and it's never a good time to burn them. I don't really want to burn them. It seems like a good waste of uh, effort and energy and resources just to go up and smoke. Granted, we can use the charcoal afterwards, but that's gonna take a lot of uh, time and energy to recoup that, store it, etc. Also, I don't know how much that I really want to just store charcoal. It's not uh, the most important thing to me at the moment. It might be at some point in the, in the future. I know that we can bury it underground and it helps gardens tremendously. Uh, so that's one use of it that we might be able to use. But that is not the route that we wanted to take. So the question was, were we going to rent a wood chipper? Uh, were we going to pay somebody to come and chip our logs, our fallen trees? And I did a bunch of research to buy a brand new wood chipper, at least a decent one, throw behind that I might be able to justify buying in order to maybe rent out or start a wood chipping business or something like that. They went for between fifty to seventy to eighty thousand dollars, and that just wasn't what I was looking for. I could buy a twenty-year-old used wood chipper tow behind for about maybe ten grand. Uh, the the cheapest one I ever found was was about five thousand, and while that might have been a good it might have been a good purchase. I don't know how old it was, what kind of use it has seen, how many hours are on it. And I mean, the paint might have looked decent, but who knows if it was any good at all. Here's what I do know though, is that this wood chipper is brand new. I love the company that uh, runs it. It's the same company that we bought our Woodland Mills uh, HM126 sawmill with. Woodland Mills is the company, obviously. I know the build quality is good and it's fairly easy to put together. The instructions are great. It, for the most part, made sense. There was one part where the tube went together on top of the chute, on top of the infeed chute that didn't quite make sense. I looked at the pictures again and I realized, oh, this is how it's supposed to be done. Pretty simple. So, this thing is pretty great. It is supposed to take logs up to six inches. I don't know how that's supposed to happen. Uh, if I put a larger log in, it doesn't really take it. So it seems like it needs to taper up from a smaller log to the bigger log, or a lot of force needs to be added in order for it to work. But it does seem to work amazing when it gets up to that point. So I've gotten a few logs that I put in. Narrow point first and it works great. This is only my uh, first or second day using it. I put in, it did actually get clogged on us, but I think it might be because we were using really wet wood. And all it took was to open up the chute. I shoved a branch down, or a little stick should I say, and was able to clear out the debris that had uh, gathered. Today, I'm not having that issue at all. It seems to be working great. I am using a little bit drier wood. So this is it. 
This is our wood chipper. I don't know how long it's gonna take to go through all of these wood piles, but it sure is fun seeing the piles shrinking. It's fun throwing the branches in and watching them be eviscerated into wood chips. And what I'm extremely excited about is having a really good source of wood chips to lay down as mulch, to put trails in, to turn into compost with a nitrogen source. This is gonna be a really helpful tool to have around the homestead. And I'm really excited to have it.
If you're enjoying the series at all, please subscribe. We've got a lot coming towards you. If you'd like it, that would be even cooler. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.